Blimey, everyone's getting involved in the TV license debate now, aren't they? Coming up with ideas. I remember when it just used to be me and Mr. H's Hot Pot and a couple of other little YouTubers and little websites and we never got many views. Now it's wide out in the open and we've got think tanks having a chat about it. Have a look at this. Mark Littlewood, Director General at Free Market Think Tank, the Institute of Economic Affairs, commented on the future of the BBC license fee. Cool, this should be good. Then someone in a think tank so they're going to know a lot more than me and be more intelligent than me and be able to think clearer than me, mostly because they're probably not constantly hung over. Right, let's see what he's got to say. The government should now legislate to bring the compulsory TV licence to an end by 2027. Oh, we're in agreement so far, Mark. Otherwise, we will face five years of rearguarded actions by the corporation to attempt to cling on to this outdated funding model. Oh, I'm starting to like you, Mark Littlewood. What is needed is an agreement and understanding that the licence fee will end to enable a proper debate about the best new approach to adopt, which must be one based on consent rather than coercion. Guy, he's good, isn't he? He's good, he's saying all the things we've all been saying. And it's a guy from a think tank. Who knew think tank people could think? An attractive option is to move the BBC to a membership model. Interesting. Similar to that of the National Trust. I hadn't thought of something like that myself. This would be entirely voluntary and members would democratically elect a board to pursue the BBC's overall objectives. Certainly interesting, certainly interesting, Mark, but currently the BBC receives 3.2 billion quid from TV licence fees. You know, they're going to need at least half that to stand a chance, I would imagine, because they're struggling on 3.2. But by the time you take... Get you know, the couple of hundred million they spend getting the TV license fee system set up and enforced and everything, and sacking Lineker, you'd probably be all right for about half that to make the same sort of quality stuff they make now, right? So could they get 1.5 billion quid from a voluntary membership model? Would you pay for that? Would you become a member of the BBC? I don't think I would. A lingering question is whether there should be any state funding of so-called public service broadcasting for output which may have some supposed wider value but isn't commercially viable. Yeah, that is a fair question. The BBC do have to show some stuff that wouldn't attract many advertisers and wouldn't make them a lot of money because they're a public service broadcaster. But, you know, they could just put that online. They don't have to broadcast that anymore, do they? Or the government could just directly put that online, all the learning stuff they did during the health crisis and everything. It doesn't have to come down to the BBC if the BBC are no longer publicly funded, right? But even if there is a case for such funding, there is no reason to ring fence it for the BBC. All broadcasters and content producers should be able to submit bids to gain grants from any such pot. Ah, oh, he's good, isn't he? He's good, yeah. So no public service broadcasters. The government have a set amount of cash for the crap they have to show, learning stuff and government propaganda probably whatever, and all the channels can put in a bid to show that stuff and get paid for it directly from the government. Think tanks, eh? Yeah, that's why I don't work for a think tank. Clever guy, ain't he? Clever. Finally, the BBC continues to fall further and further behind the broadcasting giants of Netflix and Amazon. Yeah, he's not wrong there. This gap will widen until a new funding approach is found that will allow the BBC to flourish and grow its revenue stream rather than just cling on to the comfort blanket of effective compulsion for its funding. Yeah, I've said that many times, I've said that many times. I believe the BBC would be so much better if they were commercial, because they've got to make better stuff to attract advertisers, and then advertisers will spend more money, which gives them more money in the pot to make better stuff to attract more advertisers. And, you know, the net gain of that is us. You get to watch better stuff. But when you've got a comfort blanket of 3.2 billion quid every year, you not you don't need to push the boundaries, do you? You don't need to make too much of an effort because even if you get a load of flops, it doesn't matter. You're still going to get 3.2 billion at the end of the year. But if ITV make a whole bunch of flops and advertisers pull out, they're knackered. They're knackered, aren't they? BBC does not have that worry and it needs that worry to make it better. Adverts. The corporation should now kickstart a debate about what this new funding model should look like. Yeah, and I do think that's coming, but my only concern is, has it already been put to bed and they're not telling us. I think it's possible because no one's really talking about it. Tim Davey and Nadine aren't saying BBC are going to go commercial or they're going to have to go subscription or something. 
you know, has it already been arranged that there's going to be a direct media tax? Either something new showing up on your payslip or chucking it on your internet bill or your council tax or something. Has that already been decided as a way to fund the BBC going forward? And if that does happen, it's a massive loss in the fight. And it's a loss to the British public with the BBC because the BBC would be better if they went commercial because they're incentivised to make better stuff. If Netflix made a load of tat, and yes, all right, some of it is tat, but if the whole thing was tat, they wouldn't have any subscribers and they'd be bust, wouldn't they? But it's a worldwide phenomenon because people like the stuff that's on there. You know, simple, isn't it? Well, anyway, I think it's quite clear that I'm not going to be working for a think tank anytime soon. But if you want to give me a job there, Mark Littlewood, give us a call. You got me number, mate. But what do you think about all this? Let me know as always in the comments below, and I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.